Today we're going to show you how to build a hydroponic seedling starting system. The parts we're using are a Sunblaze 48 T5 fixture. It's got eight four-foot bulbs in it, and they're the Veg Spectrum or the 6500 Kelvin Spectrum. Uh, we've got a 41-inch by 12-inch active aqua tray. We've got Botanic here, ebb and flow kit with one extension in it. Uh, we've got an Eco 66 pump, that's 66 gallons per hour. An Eco Air 1 air pump with a medium round air stone in it. I've got a Hydro Farm Tower of Power back here with two 15 minute increment timers on it. And uh, to build this, you'll need some, uh, some type of a stand. Uh, something to keep the tray elevated above the, the reservoir. We've also got a Botanicare 10 gallon reservoir. Um, so I've got a stand here, it holds the light and the tray is elevated above the reservoir. And basically we just took some seedling flats, these hold 72 each. This, it, it won't, this, tray, this particular tray won't exactly hold two of them, so what we did was we cut four rows off to get them, to get them in here, which gives us about 96 seedlings. And what we do is we take a Botanicare Ready Grow plug. These are composted tree bark, and they've got a little hole for your seed in there. And basically, you just put a seed, drop a seed in there, fill up your tray, and um, to get the system working, we have a pump on a timer. Now, these Ready Grow plugs hold quite a, uh, just a great amount of moisture. So what I do is I only flood this for 15 minutes once a day. And the way I do that is I have my uh, pump plugged into the timer here with just one 15 minute increment uh, switched on and what it does is it will fill the tray up and then the overflow here, the excess will overflow and fall back down into the reservoir. Uh, when the timer goes off the whole tray empties through back down through the pump. As far as nutrients go we have uh, we're using Liquid Karma, Botanicare's Pure Blend Pro Grow and a little bit of CalMag. To start them off when they're before they've sprouted, I generally like to put about 200 parts per million of nutrient in there. We uh, we start off with reverse osmosis water, and uh, using my blue lab trunching here, you can use your uh, a, a TDS meter to check your total dissolved solids. That's how much nutrients in there. Right now, since these seedlings are about two weeks in, it's about 500 parts per million on the on the meter. You see the little blue blue uh, light blinking there for 500 parts per million. And then we uh, adjust the, the pH to about 6.2. The lights are on about 15 hours a day. And uh, what I do is I like to put two seeds in each ready grow plug. If you can see here, some of these have two seeds and what I'll do is I'll go through here and I'll pinch out the weaker of the two. And when these get a little bit bigger, maybe about another week, they're going to go into one gallon pots, and since these tomatoes are going to go outside in the garden, these are going to go into one gallon pots with soil in them, and then they're going to go into this big uh, Botanicare 3x3 three three tray, and there will be a drip manifold over them. And when they're about a foot tall, they'll be ready to, for transplant outdoors. And this system here, you can also, you can also use this for clones. Um, these ready grow, plug, ready grow plugs are great for clones. You could take your uh, your clone and just stick it in there and uh, root your clones that way. You'd have to use a different solution, but um, it works really good. And uh, the next video we'll be showing you will be the transplant portion into the big 3x3 system with the uh, 400 watt metal halide light. So uh, we'll get you a parts list and you can take a look at it. And They're really easy to build and it's very easy. It waters itself and um, all you have to do is uh, Maintain your pH and nutrient content and your, uh, seed, your seedlings will grow on their own.